package to open today. I am here with my friend Brandon. Again. And uh, that's right, again. And uh, <clears throat> this is a birthday present. Me and some coworkers got him. And uh, we're going to open it. Although he already guessed what it is. He already knows what it is. <laughs> I guessed, so it's not a surprise. <laughs> but it'll be a surprise for you guys. What? Unless you read the title. I don't know if I'll put it in the, I probably won't Brandon's put it in the Brandon's birthday title. surprise opening. <laughs> That's what we're going to call this video. <laughs> now. <laughs> there was a little tear. So here it is. We'll start from this end, because I don't have my box cutter with me. It's a book. It's a book. I won't show this corner because it'll reveal it. But, <clears throat> ah. What? Player's Handbook to D&D. Brandon's really been having a lot of fun with D&D &D lately. What's this? <clears throat> it's a druid? Druid. Mm. It's a druid lady. Hmm. Right. This is like, this is... I'm guessing it's probably an ice giant, or a giant of some sort. Maybe he's a nice giant. A nice ice giant. Yeah, it's cool. Awesome. So you excited, Brandon? What are you going to do with it? Um, probably going to take its D&D. <laughs> nice. Um, flaunt it in front of my DM's face that I have a player's handbook before he does. <laughs> and then offer to share. <laughs> So we, he can study. I'll let um, I'll let him look it over and see the different things, how everything goes. This is, and then maybe at one point I'll be able to do a DMing for people once I know all of the rules. Neat. Yes. What's your What's your D and D look like these days? Um. Getting into the final chapters, I would say, of our campaign. It's a homebrew campaign. We made it, a, a, my DM made it up itself. Along with help from us along the way, giving him little little bits of ideas and stuff. Maybe he could go this route. Very relaxed. Um, yeah, we're coming into the final, final acts of it. It's, um, we're all about level eight. I think, we're, I think I'm level nine. Did some extra battling and stuff and got me an extra level above everyone else I believe which was nice um, I'm like a war sorcerer I use battle axes and things close combat and spell casting it's kind of strange um, my strength is high enough to where it works and I'm yeah so, mm -hmm. and I have a decent amount of health my <clears throat> con's pretty high yeah his, his guy's Strong. He's pretty OP, I think. Yeah, well, one of one character has to be the battle master, the guy who runs up in battle and at least stands mm -hmm. a chance. None of the other people are, so I decided that I would be the battle guy. He tells me about his D and D adventures when uh, while we're working together, pretty mm -hmm. often. Yeah, keeps us um, <clears throat> occupied while we're. So I look forward on Tuesdays when he has Tell had stories. his uh, his adventuring on Monday evenings. I'm like, all right. Get to hear Brandon's <laughs> stories. It's, um, we are, um, next week is Valentine's Day. Okay. So uh, Will is going to, my DM, is going to do a Valentine's themed event. I don't know how he's going to do that. He hasn't released. Oh, revealed Cupid, Cupid's causing secrets. trouble somewhere in the he kingdom. He hasn't revealed any secrets, and none of us have actually helped him with this this time. So we're going to see how this goes. Mm. Um, yeah, so maybe there'll be some sort of like monster that's hypnotizing or making people fall in love with each other like Cupid-esque and we have to beat it or something along the lines of that. Hmm. Anyways, player's handbook, gonna learn everything there is to know about D&D now the right way. Thanks for watching Clicks and Quesadillas. See you next time.